This is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to reinstall the PlayStation 5 system software using a USB drive. So let's go ahead and jump the video right now. So you've been encountering errors on your PlayStation 5 and you want to go ahead and completely reinstall the system software. Now it's easy to use a USB drive to do this. Now let's go on over to PlayStation.com. So go ahead and open up a web browser and then type in playstation.com at the top, press enter. Now under the PlayStation website, go to support, then go to support under here. Now select hardware and repairs. Now choose PlayStation 5, then go to PS5 software updates. Then scroll down and go to PlayStation system software. Now scroll down under here. Now you're going to see two download links. The first one says how to update PS5 system software. We don't want to select this. We want to go to how to reinstall the PlayStation console system software right here. And the download link will say PS5 console reinstallation file. So let's select this. Then it's going to download in the bottom left side of the screen and it shouldn't take too long. It's 1.1 gigabytes. Now let's go to my computer and plug in a USB drive. Now what we want to do is go to our drive and then select it. So my drive has the PlayStation 5 folder in it already. So I'm going to go to my drive and I want to reformat. So I'm going to right click on my drive, then go to format. Then I want to go to file system and make sure I have EXFAT or FAT32 selected and then format it. Now this is going to erase all the data on your USB drive. So make sure you copy this over to your PC if you want to save any of that data. So let's go to OK now. And my drive has been formatted. So I can see my file is done downloading. So let's go to my downloads folder. So I'm going to go to show in folder now. And here is the PS5 update. PS5 update.pup. So I'm going to select this and go to copy. Then I'm going to go over to my USB drive and select this. So here it is. Then under my drive, I'm going to right click into here and go to new, go to folder, and name this PS5. Then click into this folder and right click, and go to new and go to folder and name this one update. Now go into the update folder and paste the reinstallation file. So let's go to paste. And it's going to copy on over to your USB drive. Now what we want to do is launch our PlayStation 5 into the safe mode menu. So let's go over to my PS5 now. So here is my PlayStation 5 and I can see I have it turned on. Now what I'm going to do is completely turn this off by holding down the power button. And I will hear one beep. And then I'll hear a second beep. And my PlayStation 5 will now begin to turn off. Now if you have it in rest mode, go ahead and turn it on and then just follow these steps. So I'm going to wait until my light bar stops flashing and I don't see any lights. And then I'm going to hold down the power button. Now we are going to want to use a USB cable like this and plug in our controller. The safe mode menu won't work if you're trying to use your controller wireless. So plug in your controller just like this. Now go back over to your PlayStation and hold down the power button. You will hear one beep initially. And then about five to 10 seconds later, you will hear a second beep. Now your PlayStation 5 will launch into the safe mode menu. And my update file has copied over to my USB drive. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into the back USB ports. So the front one is already used. There is two additional USB ports on the back of our PlayStation 5. So I'm going to plug this in to one of the open slots. Okay, so my drive is now plugged in. Now go to the controller and press the PlayStation button and turn on your controller. And you should be able to operate the safe mode menu now with the D-pad. Now under here you can see things like change video output, update system software, restore default settings, rebuild database. We want to go to option number seven, reset PlayStation 5, reinstall system software. Select this. Now it says, Connect a USB drive that contains the update file for reinstallation for this version or later. Then go on over to OK. And it will perform a reinstallation of the PlayStation 5 system software. 
So it's going to update the PlayStation 5 and restart a few times, and then you should be good to go. So hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out, did go and leave a big thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on your six studios.